Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to use the NTOPNG data source plugin to chart and visualize NTOPNG monitor data inside Grafana dashboards. The plugin is freely available in the Grafana community plugins so we can we can install it simply by using the Grafana CLI tool we only have to tell it plugins install and top and top ng data source here i also specify the plugins directory because i'm working with the grafana source code so i would like to have the plugin installed in a particular directory but in general especially if you use the grafana packaged versions you you won't need to specify these options at all so let's let's install the plugin so we received the confirmation here that the plugin has been installed successfully so now we can run the grafana server and point our web browser to the host that is running Grafana which is actually my host's devil okay now that the plugin is installed we can visit the plugins page data sources and we actually find the NTOPNG data source plugin correctly installed. So let's now configure a data source to connect to a running NTOPNG instance. Let's give it a name. Let's give it an NTOPNG lab monitor. And let's specify NTOPNG as the type of the plugin. So as a URL, I can say HTTP office, which is the host that is running NTOPNG on port 3001 slash Lua slash modules slash Grafana. And I want to have direct access with basic authentication and here I am going to use the very same credentials that are used to access the NTOP and G web page. So I can tap add and a green message is telling me success. Data source is working. So now we can start creating our dashboards using the new data source. So let's add a chart. So I'm going to edit this chart, trash this random data, and specify NTOP and GLAB monitor as a data source. Let's add the first time series. So I can type here interface and the ITO completion feature will highlight a series of metrics available for this interface. Let's chart the traffic in bits per second. So okay, this is the traffic but what we have to do now is to change the unit of the chart to the bits per second data rate in order to have a meaningful y-axis and then we can also give this chart a more meaningful name such as interface traffic Okay, so we have the first panel of our data source. We can continue and add more charts. This time I will add a chart of the interface protocols. So again, I have to choose the data source 
and I can add a query which is interface m6 old protocol speeds per second. So now what I can see here is the layer 7 application protocols performed over this particular interface. Again, I can make a meaningful y-axis by specifying a bits per second rate and what we have to do is also stacking the values of the chart because by stacking them we can read the total values in the y-axis. Let's also make it a fill like this one. And as a name, we can say interface applications traffic. And here we are. So we have the total interface traffic, we have the breakdown of the traffic in terms of application protocols. We can slice and dice the chart. We can zoom out or choose, for example, the last one hour and also specify a refresh interval of five seconds. So that every five seconds we will get new data points arriving in the dashboard. So now you can use this data source to augment your existing dashboards to combine an OpenG data with MySQL InfluxDB data. So it's it's pretty flexible tool. So hope you will enjoy using it.